QI10 Tour, brand new TP5X golf ball. Oh, what a combo. Captain Taylor made today. I don't think the expectation should be that this is better. If you hit any 2023 product pretty well or centered as those last ones were, and then hit a 24 product, what do you expect? It's At the end of the enough. year, we'll talk about our most fade bias kind of fairy wood, mm -hmm. and I think QI10 Tour will, has, will take that. I'm convincing myself okay. I need one. I know. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are finally able to unveil mm -hmm. some of the 2024 product. We've been seeing it enough on social media. Kind of a bit of a love-hate thing for me, this whole, the way product is released nowadays on social. It's, it's you know, hacked pictures or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. And we're all eager to see it, but I kind of, something's missing that, you know, imagine, you know, you're really excited for Christmas and you want to know what you're going to get and you, you, Someday your big brother comes down and goes, here's all your presents. And then Christmas Day, you don't get the Christmas yeah, Day effect. Yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like for me. It does ruin it. It used I, to be great at the PGA show, getting to see all the products for the first time. Totally. I mean, we start to see some of this new product October, November, yeah. then social media sees it. Yeah. It does ruin it a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it's it's at this time of year, kind of builds it back up to actually hit the stuff and test it yeah. and obviously give these guys what they want. Give the people what they want. So today we're, uh, we're here to look at QI10 Tour, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Um, a fairy wood that replaces Stealth 2 Plus. Um, not too dissimilar in design and no. in nature. I think that's the first place to start and, and probably anyone who with, the, with a sort of sharp eye looking at sort of the features and things like that is going to look at it and go, okay, 50 gram sliding weight at the back, same. We've still got speed pocket for, for sort of miss hits and low strikes, great, mm -hmm. same. Um, Head profile style, 170 cc. We're still uh, have a, a 57 to 61 degree lie angle sort of um, window that we can we've got. It's really not until we turn it over into the plane position yeah. do we see the difference. You lose the first that. Time. You lose that crown, which yeah. I like to me. And you said it earlier. It's if Titleist and Taylor made had a, had a baby. That's what it looks yeah. like. And it's clean. It sits super, super square. It doesn't sit mega flat. And it's, I think a lot of times tour or the plus models, people think, okay, it's for the better player. It's, yeah. on, it's only going to sit flat and open. I mean, obviously, it's fully adjustable, so you right. have that ability. But yeah, this this sits really clean. It does. Obviously, going from you know a carbon crown to an infinity carbon crown is, is the biggest differentiating factor. And one little thing that allows uh, Taylor to have this six gram weight out here in the toe, which is probably more just a swing weight yeah. weight. You know, it doesn't even fit a standard torque wrench. No. Um, so, but for us, it's it's good. Yeah, fully but, adjustable. I mean, we'll we'll have extra weights throughout the throughout all our fitting yeah. studios to plug that in. And for some players, customers I have in mind already, that would be quite good for them. The first day actually I went to hit this, uh, I brought in a few different shafts to try and, and we were talking about length earlier on. And, and so I plugged them in, took them through the back, threw it in swing weight scale, C9. And I'm like, oh, gee, this, is, this isn't going to work. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I brought in another shaft and, and sort of built it up at standard length at 43, and now it's D3, which is great. Yeah, but perfect. If I do want the access to the shorter shaft, which you and I do like, mm -hmm. you know, we spoke a lot about that um, in the last year, this is the key, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, having that extra adjustability. Yeah. I think also, too, for our fitters, people wouldn't probably believe us when we say like, we put lead tape on stuff, mm -hmm. we're, we've got scales out, we're trying to hit yeah. certain swing weights in studio. To have that just, just makes it easier. Without a doubt. Um, so sim similar with the, the sort of weight track moving mm -hmm. in and out the garage as they talked about last year. So if that's your spin control um, sort of adjustment, trying to get the, the sort of dynamic loft to, to sort of change ever so slightly, move that weight to the front, keeps that um, dynamic loft down, keeps the, the launch and spin uh, a little more down. I think the window last year they talked about was about four to 500 RPMs. Mm. Let's mess with that today. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little head to head and, and then at the end, let's let's do a little adjustment. Let's put it all the way in the rear. Let's put it all the way in the front uh, and let's see what we get. But overall, are we, are we seeing a minimal upgrade? Yeah, I mean, I think they're trying to make it more that fade bias, kind of that real, t that what, what tour is tour, looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks great. Yeah, um, I, I think will give so. them credit. I, I play so. the original Stealth uh, Plus Fairywood. Yeah. I don't know if it'll take this out of the bag, but mm -hmm. this this looks impressive. To the point, it's a very because like we talk about all these things, it's not really that different. Fifty gram weights the same, same adjustability and loft and lie and uh, head size, etc. 
I didn't go to Stealth 2 Plus no. last year because really I looked at it and went, it's, it's a kind of black on black version of my Sim 2 Titanium and I already love my Sim 2 Titanium. And I can actually like the contrast of the white and black on yeah. that versus this. This though, to the point of, like everyone loves a Titleist. Super you know, clean. Just super, super clean. Super, super clean. And taking away some of that sort of, uh, you know, some of that sort of wrap over effect mm. of, of, the, of the face. I think that was a significant uh, aesthetic upgrade. Yeah, I agree. All right. Let's get some initial impressions with this one. Okay, Mikey, we closed off the year with the best of series. Mm -hmm. And this one performed really well for me in, yeah. in that best of series. So um, performance-wise, we always talk about, would we expect somebody to, to take this and upgrade into the new one? I'm not expecting to see that. Right, okay. You? I, I honestly think with the way this weight is set up, mm -hmm. I think it's a completely different animal. Like yeah, this, at different the end of the enough. year, we'll talk about our most fade biased kind of fairy wood, mm -hmm. and I think QI10 Tour will has, will take that. Yeah, or at least has potential yeah. to be right. If, yeah. if you, because if that head weighs what two fifteen, two eighteen, yeah. yeah, six grams of that is a very small percentage, but. If, if I'm going to play that at my swing weight at the 42 and a half inches that I play at, I'm probably going to need 10. 10, yeah, maybe, yeah, Maybe point. 12 grams. Good point. Which starts to become meaningful at that point. So, yeah, I, I like the options the new head gives us. Sounded good. Launched up pretty high, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Almost looked balloony in a way. 33. It came out in the middle of the bat. It was certainly quite nice, but yeah, just not used to launching it that high. Strike. A little better. Is that with new TP5 or 5X? 5X. Spinny? Uh, yeah. And again, right out of the middle. A little bit more of the kind of normal ball flight, yeah. Mikey. Yeah. A little draw. A little draw. Not bad. Not bad. Probably the best one in terms of strike. Yeah. Definitely a little lower launch on that one too. Not balloony. Yeah, more of what I would like to see from it. 13 launch. 2800. 2800 out the middle, speeds climbing. Yeah, 113 peak height. Yeah, that, that would be sort of ideal. Yeah. Still Sounds a good, good. fairy, does not yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All right, Fraz. QI10 Tour. Brand new TP5X golf ball. Oh, what a combo. Captain Taylor made today. What a combo. I'm back. Back to the glory days. Good looking. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's good looking. Every time you set it down, you're like, yep, I can play this. This looks nice. No doubt. But it's up against it. I don't think I've probably hit of the selection that we, we sort of used there, <clears throat> five out of eight. I don't think I could have probably got five better, three no, wood flights. No, you, you hit it good. It was, it was decent, so I don't think the expectation should be that this is better. I don't. No. I just think like if, you, if you're gonna be true and, and real about this sort of stuff, like if you hit f any 20, 23 product, it is pretty well or centered as th those last ones were, and then hit a 24 product, what do you expect? Yeah. Nothing really. Nothing really. So I, I, to your point though, I'm more of the lateral bias. Yeah, I think that obviously <clears throat> from what their players have said, we love stealth, we love yeah. stealth too plus and stuff, but we need something yeah. to be a bit more fade bias and I think that's what they've done here. And I would love the thought of being able to swing a little more freely. A Couple of those follow throughs, I felt like they were a little bit Arnold Palmer, mm. just trying not to hit it left. Um, so if, if it gives me that freedom, that's that's a nice little yeah. upgrade I would I would take. Feel any different to stealth too? I, I don't think I'm aware of it. Yeah. If it if it is or does it sound different? It does sound a little different, but maybe that's just my mind telling me to say it sounds different. It should though. If I mean if you're gonna get more carbon through the infinity crown, it should change a little bit. Yeah. To me it sounds like a 
a titanium fairy wood back in the day. Right. It doesn't sound like that muted carbon sound. Mm. It sounds pretty good though, doesn't it? Yeah, like it yeah does. No, I like it. I'm convincing it myself okay. I need one. I know. It's a good thing. Be good. I feel like this one's lower spin than the other one. Yeah. I mean, they did talk about the the 50 gram track now being in a, a deeper position. Mm -hmm. it, it does seem to be like throwing out some of those, like it, with the old one, I didn't really see any of that kind of like bomber flight that we're seeing from yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, the other one kind of got, would spin up and almost balloon on your peak height almost, got high. Yeah, yeah, like I was thinking like if we were to adjust the other one, like I'd, I'd just nudge the little weight bridge yeah, yeah. forward a little bit. Whereas with this one, it's like, I feel like you almost need it back because if you're going to have occasional low spins at 2600, then you sort of need the launch to keep it soft. It sounded like yeah, it was that was hard. that was like a different one. It had more speed in it or yeah. something. Wow, well, one almost one sixty ball. There you go. It was a weird one. I didn't really like intentionally try and like really? hit it any hard. So it sounded like it was hit hard. Back. Yeah, comes back coming a bit. Ish. Trying. But like it's up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let go to club. Okay, well, so let's we'll kind of like keep those there. I just want to slightly because that delivery is a little different. Mm, right, more up, more into out. So you're going to get a little bit more of that. Let's see if I can kind of just flight a couple of slightly flatter. It sounded good. That's probably a little bit closer to the delivery we were seeing with the other one. Still a little bit low in the spin, 28. 28, we had peak height under 100, launches. It's pretty good actually, isn't it? Yeah. If it's, on, if it's around a hot, where is it? Peak, yeah, 99. 99.2, ball speed's 158. <clears throat> Launch maybe a little lower. Yeah, a wee bit, a wee bit. That lie angle's better now though, it's not 1.9 down, it's yeah. 0.9 down. Yeah. Just, I just was just gonna, I guess, a little stuck under it. Missed that one pretty bad, but it's... It's a good miss. It's a good miss. Thin to win. Speed pocket. Just gonna tilt the launch down. A little bit turny. Just lower spin. Kick the spin up a little bit. Okay, okay Fraz. Um, I mean, right out of the gates, and midway through you kind of changed a little bit of a setup thing for mm -hmm. you, the way you were hitting it. But obviously, ball, you know, numbers don't lie, ball speed's higher, launch a little bit lower. Kind of the, maybe the, I wouldn't say alarming, but one thing that probably wouldn't suit your bag is the lower spin no. of, of the QI10 Tour. Um, that Stealth 2 Fairy would just seem like it it didn't balloon on you, but you got that higher peak height. It launched a little bit more and obviously spun a bit more. So um, we've made a slight adjustment to QI10 Tour now. We've mm -hmm. put it, in our terms, four clicks back. Yeah, we, we were trying to figure that out that between the tracks, right? Because it, you know it's not in any of the any of the sort of product release material, but there are now five clicks. Yeah. Right. So with, from the weight being all the way in, there are five notches or weight positions. The old one there was eight weight positions. Yeah. Plus the notches. And the old one a little bit tighter, closer yeah, together, which, gave, which is what gave them. So it's not like the it's not like the because it's the same, you know, amount of space. It's yeah. the same area that it's got to work in and out from. It's just this one has fewer, you know, stopping yeah. points yeah. to it. So, so we moved it back. Moved it back a bit. Pick up some spin. Let's see what it does for you. A little flatter. That felt pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. Spin there was 27.36, okay. 27 on one that you turned over, yeah, so definitely. Can, that's the right idea. Higher spinning on the on the left one. Yeah. And that peak height's up a bit. Like, I mean, I'm talking a couple feet here, but it's, it's still up. Yeah, everything's about balance, isn't it? Like, we can handle spin being down a tick if the flight's left a little, because mm -hmm. if we then hit it online, we know that that kicks back up a little bit, so. 
between left and right, the window might be 27 to 33. Mm. And then down the middle is 29, yeah. right? That's, that's what we should be trying to do here. Be interesting, Mikey, because that was a bit high in the head. I was going to say fraction heavy. It probably was a hair heavy and just a little high with the strike. It's a good result. 23. That's, that's more me. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's the... Anything wrong with the sort of club? If, if anything, the club's going to help me a little bit probably in that one. Yeah, You're going to catch one on a little high in the head out of the fairway or even out of the first cut. Yeah. It's pretty good right there. Mackie. Yeah, a wee bit, but like I kind of like if my, my miss looks like that with a fairway wood. Yeah. 3,300. Just launched, dropped a bit. Yeah. I would say that's kind of how I'm trying to learn to hit fairwood a bit more like squeezed mm. rather than launch like a driver. I never want to swing at three wood like I'm swinging at a driver. I don't mind being like up and releasing it on a driver. I just yeah. never want to feel that way with a three wood. I want to feel like I'm sort of down there on it. Yeah. So that if I miss it, it goes marginally right, not left. Yeah. That adjustment though earlier we saw, like it definitely Raised spin and raised peak height a little bit. A little bit. Well, a good one to tell, Mikey. Yeah, sounded good too. Good strike. Really good. Good. 10 and 3,000. Yeah, that spin kicked up a little it's bit. Pretty much, Did pretty much we... ideal really, isn't it? Yeah. Probably the first two with the stealth were a little on the slower side, maybe the warm up swings, I yeah. think. After that, it was kind of in that one, five, six territory as well. Yeah, neck and neck. Yeah, neck and neck. If you go to yeah, compare now, yeah. Definitely was the higher spinning one, the Stealth 2. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, mm -hmm. those little changes you made were, were good. Okay. All right. Summer, summarize it for me. It's a, I mean, it's a good fairy wood. We, we know it looks yeah. good. I think it sounds really, I think it sounds different if you go and try it or you get fit for one. Mm -hmm. Keep tuned to that because I think there is a different sound. Is it light years better than what Stealth 2 is? I don't think it's light years better. I just think there's refinements for that certain player. It is more to me that tour profile. Mm -hmm. It does have that more fade characteristics. We did move the track back. It did bring that spin up. So it's nice to see the track actually do its job. That's right. what it's there for. I think sometimes people look at that and go, nah, it mm -hmm. doesn't really make a difference. It does make a difference. 50 grams moving it front yeah. or back is going to change. Um, yeah, it's a good fairwood. I, I think it's there's there's nothing wrong with it. I think for, for a player like yourself, it'd be great to compare it to uh, Sim TI because that's obviously something that you've played for a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, like I said, I'm convincing myself I need to put one in yeah. the bag. I'd like to compare it against my old Stealth, um, but it sounds great, it looks great, and it, it definitely came to perform, no problem. Yeah, it's good, it's good. I, I would say, from what I've heard on tour and, and certain things that some of the players didn't like, that the old one went a bit left. Mm. That, that was something I'd heard, again, you know, you hear whispers from these things, but normally, you know, smoke and fire and yeah, all that, yeah. right? So I would imagine, you know, this is a, an area where, you know, this 50 could be 45, and mm. that six could be 11, could be 40, could be, you know, 16. Yeah, yeah, play If around somebody with really it. wants to, you know, change some things up with it, give you options. Um, so I would say that's a really smart addition yeah. uh, to the to the package. Infinity Crown, love it. Big, big fan of the, the new look. I don't think this is for the player who has that. I don't think if Good point. this is not designed for somebody who already went into cell two and hit it well and, and was fitted and you know really found a, a nice sort of balance of launch spin and speed. This is for somebody who's maybe been in a different brand or in a, in a different line. You're going to go over to this and just go, yeah, package looks great, mm -hmm. feels great, <clears throat> lots of adjustability. My fitter can really get me dialed in all the adjustment I would ever want while looking as good as it does. I think that still has a long ball in it, but what Stealth had plus, what Stealth Plus had and Stealth 2 Plus had was almost mini driver tendencies. You could get this to give people what they wish their driver mm. numbers were, so it could knuckle a bit. This, I think, is is kind of more of that point and shoot for that player of that's looking for a bit more fade bias. Right. Yeah, it'll, it'll be good to see. It'll be good to sort of get it in our customers' hands and 
and get their feedback, Mikey. Mm -hmm. I think I think there'll be lots of people that when they kind of take a look at it, hear it, see the numbers. You know, we saw how dominant Sim was in the draw. I don't know if Stealth was quite as dominant as Sim was in the drawers in terms yeah. of sales, but um, not that it was bad. It just I think, you know, not sure. I think yeah, maybe yeah. the Stealth name didn't maybe resonate with with our customers and uh, with TaylorMade's customers as much as maybe they would have wanted. I think you know, QI10 is a nice pivot. I think QI10 it, it looks super luxury high end. It does. Um, it does. I like that they've gone back towards a a gray color scheme as well. So yeah, I, I yeah. think it's, it's gonna be good this year. Really agree. Okay guys, uh, let us know your thoughts. Um, you know, they, they're never they're never really, you know, swinging a miss with a, with a fair rear design tail made. It's, it looks good. I'm looking forward to trying the, the standard head. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously there's a Max as well, which is gonna be a little more for the high launch kind of client. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how they Me too. are because I really was impressed with Stealth 2, Scotty Scheffler yeah, played it. Yeah. Bunch of tour players played those, so uh, keen to see that, how that is and how it tests compared to this. Is the titanium option still the, the premier option yeah. that when dialed in can't be beaten? That's still what I found with Stealth 2, so I'll be cu curious with QI10 if it's the same. Love it. All right, guys, let us know uh, if, if you are impressed, what your thoughts are, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. Is this on your list to try? Please let us know. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.